All right, so from time to time, no, like once a week, I get some type of ridiculous bullshit about some atheist shit that always gets sent to me. I don't know why. I must just be that guy who's like, I wonder if he can find the bullshit. So I do, and I probably shouldn't waste time with a lot of it. But I figured since I got this channel doing my day-to-day -day bullshit, throwing it out there to see if anybody gives a shit, um, which you should, because God's honest truth, it's a hell of existence I got here. I should tell stories about my past. But furthermore, while we're here, this is called Moses Did Not Inspire the Constitution. Okay, I don't know who the hell said it did, but the Bible did kind of inspire the laws and the foundation of the country, and that means, but anyway, I digress. Let's go to this fat motherfucker right here, because God, it's so hard for me to respect someone who does not respect their self enough to not close their mouth. And I don't mean, I mean like, dude, stop eating so damn much. Like, what the, y'all think of this dude? A year ago, my wife and I protested changes that were being suggested in the Texas history books. You need to protest well, food. I already argued against the abstinence-only attitude against sex abstinence. education, and I had, of course, testified on behalf of and evolution. Look, and I, I feel you. Abstinence-only. I don't know why we should have to teach any of this in school, but some people don't have parents. So, yeah, you do need to let children know that if you impregnate someone, you have written yourself a 18-year sentence of having to produce for more than just yourself, but also for whoever you create. And if you don't like that, don't stick your penis in anybody. That would be a good idea. Abstinence being the first way of preventing babies Never, only once in history has there been a baby without a penis entering a vagina so if you don't want an 18 year commitment and all the bills that go with it and the indoctrination of idiocy by a school system unless you want to pay more so they go to a private school so you just don't do that don't do that okay but the right wing ideologues who control right wing the ideologues. Still there okay, look here, fat boy. Right wing ideologue just sets this onto a path of I now know what side you're on and why you're even talking about Texas. Like, dude, you are the size of Texas. Like, with your lazy eye and your three chins. Like, what the fuck? Conservative Christian ideology throughout every lesson of science, sex, and social studies. Okay, and part right. of that agenda through was to of establish hybrid. American exceptionalism and to deny that our country had ever done anything. Okay, to deny that our country's ever done anything wrong. Like, what do you want to do? Make the country out to be horrible, or at least give people pride in the place that they were fucking. Continue. Wrong, because the United States of America must always be seen as a shite. You see this fat bastard? He don't like himself. I mean, how could you? Look at, he looks like a catfish on steroids. But, and I don't mean to, yeah, dude. Um, yeah. Anyway. Being beacon of what it means to be God-blessed. That means an embarrassing incident such as... No. The United States of America is a shining beacon of what it means to bless God. Not the other way around, dildo smack. It's the genocide of Native Americans and the Trail of Tears and the forced immigration... Hold up. Fucking... All right. Genocide of the American Indians. All right, look, man. We came here. We were getting along with Indians. Shit was cool, man. We was having a good time. Like, everything was peachy. They taught us how to plant shit. We were friends, all right? And then, what happened? The British came. And they told 
all the Indians that we were going to kill them and rape their wives, and they spread propaganda throughout the Indian tribes, causing them to attack us on one side while the fucking Brits attacked us on the other. What the fuck else were we supposed to do? Just die, motherfucker? We couldn't go home. We couldn't stay here. So we fought. Now, what's so goddamn bad about that? What was the alternative? That your fat ass wouldn't be here? Maybe we should have fucking lost. Stupid motherfucker. African slaves must be downplayed or rephrased. (laughs) The African slaves must be downplayed. Okay. I don't see why in the hell everybody gets so butthurt about some fucking slaves. Look at this. To be here. What you had was the best people from all over the world migrated here. The best. I mean, the ones willing to risk it all and the ones willing to literally, willing to risk their future, their family's future, their own future, to come here to create a living out of an opportunity which is just a fucking chance that they might make it. And the ones, the strongest of the strong and the smartest of the smart made it. And the slaves all right, that came over here, dude, do you know how strong your ancestors had to be to make it? Now, many of us paid the price to be here. They died. Many Slaves paid the price to be here. Why can't you just rejoice in the fact that, motherfucker, you're in the greatest nation on earth, the most prosperous nation on earth, with more opportunity than anywhere else on earth to live, however the fuck you want. And we all had to pay a price to get here. That's American exceptionalism. Now, what's so fucking bad about that, you bloated catfish motherfucker? Anyway. It's a way that it doesn't sound that bad. Motherfucker, it ain't that bad. God damn. of course, applies to the civil rights movement. This caused a protest even within the Board of Education when it became a whitewash revision of art history because they had also removed ethnic references and influences such that minority groups wouldn't have any historic yeah, heroes look. who were respected role models in positions of authority. The conservative bloc wants to paint a picture of it. Okay, this fat fucker right here represents your liberal bloc conservatives like to conserve things to keep them as they are and not change them unless there's a damn good reason that's what conservation is use wisely keep what you got (whistles) liberal waste everything hope it works out pick a side all white, right wing, exclusively Christian America founded on biblical values. As if there ever was such a thing. Hold on. This fat motherfucker talking about values. The only thing he values is food. That motherfucker looks like a bloated catfish that got hooked by my buddy who likes to go like out in the river and grapple for these mugs and pull them out with his hands just to show that 150 pound catfish whose bitch it is. Except for he would be like a 400 pound catfish. When they say that it's based on Judeo-Christian values, uh, that seems to me to be oversimplified and selective to the point of distortion. Many of... Okay. So I'll tell you what, how about we take the time to define each and every syllable in the Constitution and Declaration of Independence so that we can handicap this motherfucker and get nothing done? Absolutely. You know, analyzation, when it gets to the point of being anal, only high estrogen people are going to tolerate shit like this. And you can tell that both these fat old bastards have had it way too good. And their estrogen levels, I bet their wives boss them around like the little bitches that they are. 
you know, if they had some of those Judeo Christian values, they might actually smile every now and then. <laughs> God, this man's life is so bad. It's so fucking rough. Like, to look at him, he looks like he hasn't been happy since conception. I don't even know if his parents were happy while they were fucking making him. Um, <laughs> Alright, I'm going to Walmart to get some finger foods for the damn Halloween party because, yeah, I'm going to the Halloween party. And, uh, we'll continue this charade of bullshit upon my return. Oh, and if you don't like my cursing, throw the fuck up. Like, this is just how I want to talk. It's not how I talk in public. It's not how I talk anywhere but on here. And you know why? Because I can. Because it's not very Christian-esque to use foul language. But how else do I reach people who are out there not in Christian world that you want to bring in well tell the truth and tell it in a language that they can understand and every word has a meaning if you get offended by words you need to check yourself because a word has never hurt anyone sticks and stones may break my bones but words will never hurt me all you little pink hair faggot motherfuckers running around with your damn feelings hurt screaming you woke you're not woke you're estrogen dominant, you dumb shit. You had your penis cut off. Your nuts don't work. I got an estrogen blocker that'll turn that shit around for you. Grow some muscle, you'll get strong. You'll actually want to do shit and subdue the earth and make it do what you want it to. But no, 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 no. Let's cry, you fucking bitches. You know what? There it comes a point when I just go... <sighs> well, the rest of y'all gonna deserve what you get. Now, I'm gonna kick somebody's ass, but y'all motherfuckers deserve this shit. <laughs> Peace.